ooh, 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 ooh. I should have put safety glasses on. We got some clouds up in the sky today. Beautiful weather, not super hot, as long as it doesn't rain. So I'm here in the house trying to figure out whether I should go do maintenance on the truck or not, or if I'm going to get rained on. Today's video is going to be about a possible maybe EGR cooler going bad. I've been monitoring my coolant level, and it's been... Uh, it's been slowly kind of going down a little bit like very very little but you know i'll show you guys in the truck where i usually put it at so i always put it at the same place and i do it for the same reason just in case you know we start noticing that it starts going down usually that's either an external leak that i haven't been able to see but now that i'm going to do the oil change that's when i'll get it you know down there and stuff and look around and make sure that there's no hoses leaking i'm hoping i'm hoping at this point that that's what it is um if for whatever reason it ends up being that it might be the egr cooler i'm going to take the venturi pipe off to see if there's moisture in there <sighs> and if there's moisture in there then we're going to have to go ahead and change that part out all right guys so we just got done with the oil change so now i'm going to go ahead and start looking to see where we're losing coolant at um start checking with external leaks first and uh if there's no external leaks, then then we're gonna go ahead and do some tests for the to see if it's the EGR and hopefully, cross my fingers, it's not the the injector cup. So this is what I was talking about. So here's my coolant level. It's kind of a little bit of a, at, at an angle, but I always fill it up right in that line right there, right there in that line where it says cold minimum. I'm sorry, not cold minimum. Uh, right here on the cold max, like right below the M. I leave the line right there and that's usually where it's always at and I've been noticing that as you guys can see it's not much you know it's very little but it shouldn't be losing any coolant at all so uh, so what we are going to do is that we're going to go ahead and start looking at what it can possibly be so there's a whole bunch of coolant lines you know here's my compressor that's a coolant line this is a coolant line right here that's a coolant line that one down there is a coolant line. Those would be very easy to notice, you know what I mean? Um, if there's anything leaking there, those would be really easy. Let me go around over here on the other side. So um, that one up there is a coolant line. That's a coolant line. This is a coolant line coolant line i don't see no leaks i initially thought that maybe just maybe it was that clamp right there that one right there it looked a little bit loose but uh there was no signs of you know usually when coolant starts leaking it'll it'll leave like that uh that uh pink residue because i use or, or red residue because i use uh the red one or whatever right um but after looking at all the hoses and another another area where you, you guys might want to check at as well is on the actual radiator as well. You know what I mean? Like the cap. Make sure that nothing's leaking on the radiator side. You know, because I've had that happen before where you'll think that you don't have a leak and, and you do. So I'll check down here. Make sure that there's no coolant. But usually those coolant leaks are... A little bit more on the obvious side. I went ahead and got down here. Let's see, guys. That's the only thing I don't like doing maintenance at my cousin's. Is it is. I wish it was cement, but you know, you gotta work with what you got, right? That's not leaking. That's just 
from the new filter that I put in. So there's the EGR cooler right there. That's a coolant line right there. I've had them leak there before, but they look dry. <laughs> that other one right there looks dry as well. That's also a coolant line. It looks dry as well. Doesn't seem no signs to be leaking down there either as well. Upon a little bit further inspection, guys, I think I may have found the problem. <sighs> Look at this clip. As you guys can see there, that's the Venturi tube. That's where the EGR cooler comes from one side of the engine and goes into the intake. It shouldn't be leaking any water there. It looks clear and black. It looks like oil. But the reason that that happens is because the coolant is bypassing the, you know, the, the little fins or whatever. I'll show you guys on the new one. Um, and it's going into the, it's going into the, the intake stream and it's just burning that, that coolant. But it looks like oil because once it mixes with that residue, it'll turn that, uh, you know, antifreeze black. So I guess we're doing an EGR cooler. So we got the EGR cooler right here. These are the fins that I was telling you guys about. I'll show you guys. You see those right there? That's where water, these, this is where your water hose goes through right here. Then on the other side, if I can get the stupid cap on, I'll put it back on right now. Here is your exhaust side. I don't know if you're able to see it there. Let's see. Well, in there, that's that's where the exhaust. So it keeps. So those tubes, water goes through the outside of them and through the inside of those tubes. That's where the exhaust goes to. Whether well, over time with the heat that this engine creates, it'll um, it'll they'll crack and it'll allow some of that water to go into the exhaust stream or the intake stream where there shouldn't be any water, and that's why it's going into the venturi tube. So. I'm going to go ahead and enlist my boy's help today so that he can be your all's camera guy today because it's going to be a lot of work to take this stuff off. But uh, I'll show you guys step by step on how to, how to do it on a Series 60 engine. On the DD-15, it's a little bit different. It's actually easier on the DD-15 because it's on the top versus this one's like right on the, on the side row. Let me show you guys. So this is your EGR cooler right here. So I'm going to have to remove this right here. Got to take this off right here. And then I gotta take off those bolts and that bracket so that so it's able to come out. And uh, let's see what else do we need to do here. Gotta take those hoses off on the bottom and those hoses that I was showing you guys back there. So this is a tube right here. This is your Venturi tube right there. And you guys can see it might have already dried up because I had it off for a little bit, but. This was all wet inside there. This is the pipe that was leaking, leaking water through. Like I said, it makes it look, it makes it look like, it makes it look like oil, just because it mixes with that soot. I mean, it might have been condensation, because that's happened to me before, where it'll be a little bit moist, uh, but I wouldn't be having coolant problems. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing some of this stuff off, guys. This is pretty easy to get off. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare all this stuff so that when my boy gets in, and then when he once he gets a hold of the camera, it'll be a lot easier because I have both of my hands free or whatever, you know. But uh, well, I mean, I guess you can kind of say, guys, you know, I'm not happy about it. You know what I mean? Just being real because it's 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 work to do it. But um, the six P's. If you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, check that video out right there. The six P's, prior proper planning prevents poor performance. I get into a detail right there, but because I was, because I planned for, for this to happen one day because it's a machine and it's going to break, I had that EGR cooler already in my truck. 
So all I got to do right now, I mean, essentially, I still spent money. I just didn't have I just didn't spend the money right now, which is good because, you know, I don't got that much money to spend. Everybody's struggling right now. I bought I bought a little bit of those expensive parts that it might go out one day when it was good and it wasn't really a big deal. So I prepared myself and that one's in the truck. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple of these things off and then we'll get right back at you guys and I'll show you guys how to remove it and replace it. And I'll show you guys more in detail. All right, guys, so right there, we're draining on the coolant. You gotta get all the coolant out because once you remove those hoses or whatever, you're gonna make them like you have to remove the coolant. We already got that EGR Venturi, we already got the, the air cleaner out, we already got that exhaust clamp over there taken off. So we gotta just let this thing drain and then uh, we'll take it from there. Got Monster Max in the house today again, he's gonna help me out because uh once i'm installing it it's gonna gonna need his little hands to be able to get some stuff right dog hell yeah hopefully we get all this stuff done i'm pretty sure we can hopefully i'm hoping that maybe hopefully today we can get this done today and if we do then i'll have the rest of the week off and we'll load up the quads and the go-kart and go quadding dog this is all i gotta do once we fix this thing we'll be good to go then I'll have the rest of the week off. A little bit of chill. Go right before you go back to school. Cool deal? All right, doggy. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing drain out. And then uh, we'll get back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Now we need to get those, those bolts off right there. Sorry if the image is crooked, guys. But, you know, working on crap sometimes is... is it's not that easy when you're doing it with one hand and trying to hold the camera on the other. Focus. I know it's not focused there. I don't know what the hell. Gotta take these clamps off. Taking off this other hose right here on the side. Get that one out of the way so that we're able to access it a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Golly. That boy was on there. Oh man, that thing is seized. That's why. Put a little bit of PB plaster up in that bad boy. Let's see if we can get it spinning again. Yeah, there we go. You see how it loosened up? Can you see it? Let's take this line off. Let's see if this one has enough juice to remove it. Yes, sir. It sure does. Usually those over there in the bottom are the ones that are going to be a pain in the butt, you know what I mean? To, to get to because I'm going to have to get those with with the gonna have to get those manual sometimes you need different different ways of getting in there you know what I mean it's not always just like just straightforward you gotta like work it in there you know what I mean but we'll get it in there come on no See how that one doesn't want to go in? You put a swivel on it so that it gives you that angle. And then maybe we can get it to go in. You know what I mean? Come on. Alright guys, so we got the old one out. I don't know if you guys can see there, but it's wet in there it only should be wet in here so this one's the old one coolant coolant and that's where the exhaust goes in and there it is removed pain in the ass man so you have to take that that clamp exhaust that's where that goes from the turbo that's a coolant line and then you have both of those coolant lines i went ahead and just cut those bad boys off because there's 
the the biggest thing about this one be, besides removing it is installing it because it's such a tight fit right there but i'm going to show you guys a little trick that i use which is still going to be a pain in the ass but it'll make it a little bit easier so here are the knee hoses usually what i'll do is i'll just get a little bit of grease and you just put a light film there light film there because when you're trying to adjust it they'll slide in and out nice and easy you know what i'm saying versus you know it's dry and it's, you're gonna be like fighting it and it's gonna be when you're trying to get it in they're gonna be like bending in like that and it's just a pain in the ass like when you're when you're trying to slide this thing in and out as you guys can see right there it's like a super tight fit like you have to put pressure on it but with that little bit of lube in there it makes it better you know what i'm saying okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to install it and that has to be installed through the bottom this is the part that I hate because it's such a tight fit. But we're going to do our best to try to get it in there. And uh, see what happens. Get one of these bolts. All right, Mr. Max. So you already know what you need to do, right? You need to try to get it into this hole right here, right? Once you're able to get it on these pins, you're gonna hold it with your hand like this and then just put this one that's easy. All you're gonna do is just put it in there like that. You don't have to screw it in all the way, just screw it in enough to where it won't move, okay? So I'm gonna leave this one for you right here, right here, okay? And then I'll help you hold it on the bottom whenever we get it in there, okay? All right. All right, here we go. This thing is super heavy, man. Well, it's not that heavy, but like when you're underneath having to push up on it, right? Let's see, let me, let me go in there first. So I can try to get it in there, dude. And then we'll, uh, we'll do it. Man, oh man, oh man. It's not that good one. I'm kind of fat, you know what I mean? All right, let's see what we can do. Oh my God. Yeah, there's that one. I need to get under it completely. Oh no, I'm starting to feel. Oh, rain, huh? Crap. I hope to God that it's not raining, but it doesn't start raining. I really, really hope that it does not start oh no never mind you know what it is it's the little coolant that's right here in the bottom because <laughs> i felt something i felt something getting wet <sighs> okay okay come on 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 get in there Holy smokes, this thing is, I hate putting this damn thing in there, you know what I mean? Whew, hold on, let me get a little bit of a breath. Whew. You kind of guide it to where it doesn't hit stuff there, you know what I mean? Okay. What? Ooh, 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 ooh. I should have put safety glasses on because I'm getting cooling in my goddamn eyes. Hold on, hold on. Okay, here's gonna be the hard part, okay? Oh my god, I hate doing this thing right here. This is what's a pain in the ass, man. It's getting these stupid hoses on there. I need to give my hands a little bit of a break. Holy macaroni, you know what? I think I had to remove this thing now that I remember. Yes, I did. That's why I'm struggling. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that because I'm not gonna deal with it. I'll fit for sure on this one. There's that one. There you go, pa. 
This is the one thing I hate about working in the sand, man. Here you go, pa. Here you go, pa. All right, let me just pull this thing off and hopefully I don't get blasted in the face. There we go. Okay, pull this. Got it? Okay. All right. <laughs> You're gonna work on the, the, the one that I told you, okay? Move it towards the, the that way, the hose. Like, just push it. Okay, hold on. Golly. Guys, we're still working on this stupid thing. So damn aggravating, man. Just get these. They definitely don't make it easy, man. It's a pain in the ass. Like I'm already good and mad already, honestly. And well, I'm pretty frustrated to say the least, man. Been working with this stupid bolt and just trying to get the stupid thing to line up, and it's just, it's just, it's just pretty aggravating to say the least. Any of you all that do mechanical work know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. It's just... They put these bolts, man, where they just... They don't fit, man. causing me heart attacks and everything. It's good and tight. That's enough. I've had enough fun with that one already. Okay. All right, guys. So we got it in here right now. It's been, it was a pain in the ass, man. It was fighting us. So I had to end up taking off this elbow here. So I got the hoses on there already. Those you blue ones, you can see them right there. And we're just tightening it. Hold the light, pa. We're just, we already tightened up these. The exhaust one's over here. We're putting up the Venturi pipe again. We're working on putting this thing back on. And uh, everything else is already buttoned up. I was gonna put the clamps on, but let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I usually like using these type of clamps right here. These are very good, I, my personal preference. But whenever it tightens up, it has that little loop right there. And I don't want to take a chance of it leaking. Most of the time, everybody uses these. These are good too, but what I don't like about these is that if you over, if you over tighten them, you know, like whenever they're leaking a little bit, obviously you don't want to over tighten them, but you know, if you want to just, sometimes they just need that little bit more, it'll strip easy. And with these, they're bolt tile. I mean, you can get these really tight and they squeeze real good, but I've had these clamps on there for a good while now and I just don't want to take a chance of putting the same ones back on there, but we went ahead and put these brand new as well. I already had them there as well. So yeah, we're just working on, on there's Max playing right there with the light. So we're just working on putting this stuff on right now and, uh, and that's it, man. But, uh, to get this thing into the bottom is, you know, I try to film as much as possible. I got a, a couple of clips in there for you, but it's just, it occupies both of my hands and I needed my boy's hands too and stuff to hold stuff and just get it on there. So I'll get back with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, here's our finished product. So what I went ahead and did, since I already had the cooling system emptied out, I went ahead and changed that hose change that hose right there and I change that bottom hose because those are hoses that you have to drain the whole entire system to be able to get out. So I went ahead and ran the 
the engine, let it get hot. You know, a lot of times when you put these hoses on, you gotta tighten them a little bit more if need be. Uh, one of the things that uh, is normal, guys, for any of you guys who, you know, never emptied out your cooling system. So I went ahead and filled it up all the way to the top. And as you guys can see right now, it's a little bit lower. But that's normal because it has to get all the air out of the system. That's why I left this a little bit open up here. So we can, once it cools down, it's actually going to drop even more. And then we're going to go ahead and fill it up back to top, top it off where it needs to be at. But uh, I went ahead and put some neat cooling in that bad boy as well. Since we're at it, you know. But yeah, guys, that's a, a EGR cooler for the uh, Detroit Series 60 engine. You just got to remove this thing right here. So that bolt, that bolt, the bolt over there in the back. Uh, got to remove this thing right here. These, got to move your, your cooler intake. And, you know, just your bolts. Got to change those hoses. Those hoses right there down there are a pain in the ass to put on. You know, but, you know I went ahead and put all those knee hoses as well. I hadn't changed them in a while uh, but uh, it is this particular drop guys is a little bit uh, this one is a little bit tedious this one is pretty aggravating because it's just it's such a tight fit to get it in there um, it does help if you have another set of hands even though they're little hands you know my boy was a huge big big help to be able to get this thing in here uh, but uh, yeah, it looks like we're done. I'm waiting for this thing to cool down and uh, just kind of go over everything, make sure that I didn't miss a clamp or anything like that. You know, sometimes it happens. Uh, but uh, yeah, in a nutshell, guys, that's pretty much the way you change that EGR cooler. Uh, I know on some of the images, the sun was hitting the phone and it kind of didn't take good, good video, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, if you guys have any questions or whatever, feel free to comment down below. If you like the video, hit, give me a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe. That's pretty much what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you guys watching if you guys watched up to this point. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.